Are we just gonna stand here? Or are we going to fight? Hey everyone, welcome to another review. Here's my review for the movie Kingsman The Golden Circle. Yes, Kingsman The Golden Circle stars Taron Edgerton, Julianne Moore, Colin Firth, Mark Strong, Channing Tatum, and Jeff Bridges. And this movie is once again written and directed by Matthew Vaughn, who previously did the original Kingsman movie, Kingsman The Secret Service. Before I get into this review, I'm going to talk about Kingsman for a second. Everyone knows that the very first movie review I ever did on this channel was for Kingsman The Secret Service. So this has a lot of, uh, a lot of meaning to me because this is the first, re the first review I did on this channel was for Kingsman and I absolutely loved the film. I loved the film Kingsman. I gave it like a 9.3 out of 10. It's such a great film. It was such a fresh and original like James Bond sort of movie. It plays like an homage to like the Roger Moore James Bond films. It was such a good movie with great action and it was just so freaking funny. Now, I was excited for this movie, The Golden Circle, because again, I loved the first Kingsman movie. And the trailers for this movie looked so good. I had like the Frank Sinatra music and it just it looked a lot more. It looked bigger and possibly even better. And Matthew Vaughn returned and Matthew Vaughn never returns for sequels. Like we did with Kick-Ass and X-Men First Class, he doesn't usually return to sequels, but he returned for Kingsman, so I'm like, oh good, they have a competent filmmaker, he did the first one, and he's writing and directing this one with the same writer. This is going to be a fantastic movie. I'm just going to say this right now, I have to say it right now, I have to get this right out there, Kingsman The Golden Circle is a disappointing movie. However, it is not a bad movie. It is not that bad. Some people are calling it a piece of shit, and some people are calling it a really, really bad film and stuff. It's like a 50% now on Rotten Tomatoes. It might have changed by now, but people are hating on Kingsman the Golden Circle. I understand. I really do. I actually, this time, I actually understand people not liking this movie. Like, I, I can't explain fully why, but... This movie will get a lot of hate, and I will understand the hate. I don't hate it. I am a little disappointed in the movie because I wanted it to be as good as the first one. Not, like, maybe better, but at least as good. Or even if it's a little worse, like, still an amazing film. This was a decent movie. It was a good movie. I liked it. I had fun with it. I definitely see it again. Maybe not in theaters, but, like, on Netflix and possibly by the Blu-ray and stuff. But it's nothing great. It is like subpar compared to the original Kingsman. It is nowhere near as good as the first one. So I'm just gonna get that out, I would just get that out there. Like it's not as good as the first one. It is a little disappointing because I was going with this movie, into this movie with extremely high expectations and I probably should have lowered them a little bit and I probably would have had a little bit more fun with the film. But yeah, the, the story of this movie, I can't really talk about the story, the story because that would require spoilers, but the gist of it is the Kingsmen have to team up with this American agency called the Statesmen. And basically they have to defeat Julianne Moore, who's like this drug dealer, and she's using all these drugs to kill people all around the world. So the Kingsmen and the Statesmen have to team up and take her out. That's basically the gist of the story, and yeah, <clears throat> I'm going to start with the negatives. I usually start with the positives, but I have to start with the negatives, because there is quite a few. First off is Julianne Moore. Julianne Moore is a great actress. I love Julianne Moore. She is so great. She's an Oscar-winning actress. She is great. And I was excited to see her play a villain. She is super over-the-top and extremely cartoony. It sort of fits the tone of the film because the movie itself is very cartoony, but she is so over-the-top and so one-dimensional. She almost has the same plan as Valentine's plan in Kingsman the Secret Service. Her plan was really dumb. She was a very generic villain. She always smiles a lot. She has like this evil lair location in this middle, middle of this island and she really doesn't really communicate with any of our heroes until the ending of the film so it really doesn't make her very intimidating or menacing and she was so over the top and she, she belonged in like a, a Saturday morning cartoon series. She was really ridiculous and really silly. She was trying but wow, she was a really terrible villain and I liked Valentine Samuel Jackson from the first one and she was nowhere near as compelling or as interesting or as entertaining. She was not a good villain in my opinion. Also, the special effects. The special effects, I, I knew there was going to be a lot more CGI because it's a bigger budgeted film. 
it was very noticeable in a lot of scenes. There was a lot of scenes that was obvious CGI, and they used CGI with the action scenes, and they tried to make a lot of tracking shots, and they used CGI to make the tracking shots feel more intense and more, make the audience more involved with the action, and it was a little distracting. You know the church scene, the amazing church scene in the first film? They try to make almost every action scene look like that church scene action scene, and I mean, you're kind of ruining that experience. That scene was such a unique and cool scene. You don't need to make every action scene look like that scene from the first film, and that was also very distracting and stuff, and I didn't like that. Also, the beginning of this movie, something happens. I won't spoil it, but something really bad happens, and I was a little, like, let down because I'm like, whoa, 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 what are they doing? I, I get it's ballsy, but I didn't care for it. Like, I, I won't say what it is, but I didn't care for it. So, yeah, those were my biggest gripes for the film. Also, the film's a bit overly long. So, yeah, those are my biggest problems. It's overly long, it has a shitty villain, it has, like, this weird style, it has not the greatest special effects, it does something in the beginning that I didn't like. Those are my grips. What are the positives? The cinematography. The cinematography, you know, I was kind of griping on the tracking shots. The landscaping shots look fantastic, and, you know, the interpersonal shots, the shots when they're all talking and sitting down, they're beautiful. There's some really good and very well-made cinematography in this movie. Also, the, perform the performances. The performances, other than Julianne Moore, are all really, really solid. Taron Edgerton as Eggie is fantastic. Colin Firth is back as Harry. Yes, I know he died in the first one, but they explain what happened to him. It's fine. It's not quite a Jewish sex machina, but whatever. He was great. Uh, Mark Strong as Merlin was great. And, uh, <clears throat> and yeah, Jeff Bridges. Jeff, Jeff Bridges uh, runs the runs the Statesman. I think the Statesman, actually, I wish, I hope they get their own spin-off movie, because they stole the film. I loved the Statesman, like Jeff Bridges, Halle Berry. Channing Tatum wasn't super big in this movie, but he's in this movie as the character Tequila, and he's probably, like, my favorite character in this movie. I loved Channing Tatum in this movie. He's fantastic. Also, Oberyn, the Viper, is also in this film as a uh, whiskey, and I loved the Statesmen. I loved their headquarters. I love that they're all a bunch of cowboys and stuff. That They were really enjoyable to watch. And yeah, the performances by the whole cast, except for Julianne Moore, was solid. Cinematography was really, really good. And the action scenes, when they don't use too much CGI, they're fine. They're fine. They're really slick and they're, it's really in your face. And it's really, it's, it's cool. There's also some, a couple emotional scenes that are really well done. There's a couple, there's a scene with uh, Aggie and Harry. It's a really touching scene. There's a scene that involves a dog, a really touching scene. There's an ending scene that was really heart, like, oh, toy the heartstrings. And it was really well done. And yeah, there's also a really great soundtrack to this movie. Really good soundtrack. There is some laugh out loud hysterical cameos. The cameos in this movie are great. Also, the comedy. This movie has a really great sense of humor, and I was laughing consistently throughout this whole film. It was really funny, this movie. So yeah, I think all in all, it's a very entertaining movie. Even though some of the action scenes don't always work, they're entertaining enough to have a fun, like, fun time at the movies. I'd still say go see this movie in theaters, but it's nothing amazing. It's nowhere near as good as the first film, and it is a bit disappointing, but it's still a fun popcorn film, and I can still recommend it but just don't go into the movie expecting it to be better than the first film. So yeah, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give the movie Kingsman, The Golden Circle, a 7 out of 10. I'm going positive. It's not amazing. It's still a fun, entertaining film, but nowhere near as good as its predecessor. So yeah, that was my review for the movie Kingsman, The Golden Circle. So yeah, in the comments section below, please tell me, what are your thoughts and opinions of this? Are you with the critics? Are you against the critics? Do you think this is a great film? Do you think it's better than the first one? Do you think it's a fun, entertaining popcorn film? Or do you think this movie is a gigantic turd and just another disappointing sequel? What are your thoughts and opinions? I still like this movie, but I'm very curious to know your thoughts and opinions of this movie. Comment below, let me know. And as always, for this video, please like, subscribe to this channel, and join the dark side.